So I guess the last episode ended with uh, oh, a bit of a cliffhanger, as it were. Oh yeah, I have to eat some cooked meat now. Not that I need any more, because I'm actually kind of full on that stuff. Probably need to replace some of these things that I'm missing down here. Buy another last parachute. Shotgun. Huh, that still annoys me. Even the sickle would be nice to have, but um, the real question is, what's going on outside? That would be our level 20 Megalodon that, well, got at the end of the last episode, technically. Right toward the end. You got a lot of raw fish on you, because that's kind of what I just threw on you, because uh, why not? We're going to go ahead and start this one right off with doing this guy right here. We're going to make a Megalodon saddle. It's kind of a shame that I'm spending all these Engram points on stuff that is really just a... nothing more than kind of a, a situational use, but, you know, that's just how it is. If you're wondering why I'm just standing around. Sometimes I stand around a lot because my cat is giving me grief. In this case... nope, there she goes. She's going to go eat. Thank you. And if not, she really should go eat, because I think that would be best for all parties involved. Namely myself, and her, and the other cat. Yeah, there you go. That would be all of us. Good. So, let me go ahead and drop off the extra materials I didn't need for this stuff right here. So we're going to put you in there, hides in there, fiber in there. And I think I'll actually drop all my wood off into this guy, even though we don't have any more metal to really, wow, to really work on over here. Why not? She is in a mood something fierce, let me tell you. She is, uh, she's having a day. Which means there are going to be lots of awkward pauses and things for me today. Because while I could actually close the door to this room that I record in, I mean, that's a nice logical thought, right? It wouldn't do any good. It would actually be worse because she would just sit there and claw at the door. So I suppose I could, you know, lock her up elsewhere. But, I don't know, I just, I'm not a fan of that. What can I say? I would rather sit here and suffer and let everyone else enjoy the dulcet sounds of my cat being annoying. All right, you guys want to mess with a shark? I don't know if this is going to end well for anyone or not. Wow, my shark is getting destroyed. Although he did just get a level, so that's good. All right, where is the raft? It's way over there. All right, swim, buddy. You need to swim faster than you've ever done gone swim it before. I know, that is not anywhere near proper grammar. I know that. Now let's go ahead and give you some health right now. There you go. You got a bunch of levels. And can I force feed you on all of this stuff? Uh, looks like I can. Oh, look at that. I don't know if he's actually going to win that fight. Oh, don't hit me. No. Oh. And that would be one dead shark. <laughs> Ah, man, this is just brutal. Holy cow. Can I at least get my saddle back? Nope. There we go. At least want my saddle back. Man. Oh, this is just a nightmare. It is so a nightmare. Cat, you should go eat. Go go take care of yourself. Go eat. Get out of here. Thank you. Ah, man. I knew a level 20 shark wasn't really going to be all that much, but then... You know, you throw in a level 125 Manta and other Mantas over here. And it's just a feeding frenzy for him. It really is. I mean, look at this. It's just Manta Central. They're going to just annihilate that turtle. I mean, I could try and sneak in some shots over here. It's not really going to do much. Oh, look at that. I did kill the 125 guy, though. Take that, you jerk. Take that. Cat, welcome back. You didn't have time to go eat. I know that. Ow. That actually was not what I was expecting. All right, Mantas. Can I, can I kill you without dying yet again? I should check my armor, actually. How is my arm? Nope. Wrong one. How's my armor? I was just playing a different game where Tab was how you did stuff. Um, turns out I'm not going to record that game for the channel. So there you go. I need to get back to the arc commands. Ah. I need to repair all this stuff because it has just been absolutely destroyed by the mantas. So I guess technically I don't need to go find any more oil. That was really the whole point of this exercise. But I don't know, maybe I'll just roll with what we have for right now because I apparently am completely out of my element here trying to deal with these mantas. They are just something else. 
they are just tearing me up like there is no end to it. I mean, man, they are just brutal. I'm gonna give my chest piece, my helmet, and then let's grab my gauntlets, and we'll go see what we can do here. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to give it a shot with the Manta, just they're fast, if nothing else, or reasonably fast. If I could kill some of them, though, that might actually make my life a little easier over here. Problem is, yeah, those things are really not very fun to tame. I hate passive tames in this game when it's a non-passive creature, you know what I mean? So, it's a non... Oh yeah, you're gonna die. I'm just gonna kill you. Oh, maybe not. I was going to kill you, but your friend decided to help out. And now I'm going to die. All right, let me get out of the water here because I am pretty much bleeding out. There we go. Wow, that was close. I need to stop doing that, don't I? Well, I guess we can harvest the rest of our shark here. Not that I really need a bunch of raw fish, but whatever. Raw prime fish meat. That sounds good, actually. It's interesting, I'm getting that with the axe, but not with the spear. I wonder if that was just random right there, and that was just dumb chance. Dang it, I did it again. I. Maybe if I say it aloud, I'll remember I. Jeez. All right, you know what? For right now, let's just go cook up that raw prime fish meat. And uh, that way we can at least use it while, I don't know, presumably trying to tame something else at some point in the somewhat near-ish future or something. Let's drop all that stuff in there. Do I actually have any more? Look at that. I do have some more narco berries. Let's go ahead and make some more of those guys. And then I don't really care about all this stuff I am carrying, so... Let's just dump that out. We'll just roll with the the raw prime fish meat. That'll be fine for now. Ah, Trike, you are so, so stuck. Can I free you from your prison here? Nope, that didn't do it. So then it's this one. All right. Well, if you're going to be a jerk about it, then stay right there. I don't really care. Are you a dodo or a do-do? You're a do-do. Well, in that case, you're a do don't. I have no interest. How are we doing over here? Is this stuff all cooked up yet? Not quite. I need to spend some points. Where do they go? Stamina, oxygen. Oxygen actually would be helpful right now, considering how much I'm trying to go dive in the water. But really, I just kind of figure, eh, you know. I don't know. Maybe uh, melee damage... More movement speed. I do like my movement speed. That is a lot of fun. Um, let's go health. That's always helpful. I feel like, you know, we've got enough enough uh, carrying capacity right now that we don't really need to go much higher on that. I'm going to take those guys, and then I would like to try and tame one more thing here. I don't know that it's going to happen, but I'd like to try. I do need to make some more arrows, so let's take that. We'll put the fire out, and then we will make some stone... Arrows. Nope, we need fiber. Hmm, I don't have my my pick, sickle, scythe, whatever it is, do I? Okay, let's go weapons, melee, sickle. I'm going to make a quick sickle. That'd be a quickle. Put that back on slot number five where it belongs, since I just didn't get around to doing that earlier. Should have, didn't. It's fine. <sighs> Dang it, I did it again. No, go away. I... I keep hitting the button for the console, which if I actually had a use for it might be fine, but I don't right now. I do use it a lot just to speed the game time up so that I'm not just standing around and waiting forever. I mean, I know you can do more than just stand around and wait when you're taming stuff, but it usually doesn't work for me, so I will speed up game time. That's not, you know, it's not like I don't ever use the console, but man, I am just having a heck of a time right now. That should be about 20 or so of those guys. And then we're going to need to make some trank arrows to go with those. So let's go ahead and do some trank arrows. Um, we'll do about 10 or so. I think that'll be fine. I do see another shark out there. I think I do. Maybe that was just a reflection. I'm not sure now. I still would like to try and get some sort of creature over here. Shark. Manta. 
Probably not a manta. I've already... Ah, oh, crud. Expressed my disdain for them. Alright, if I could just kill you guys, that would be... That would be delightful. Can I just kill you? you got to be close to death there. I've stabbed the crap out of you. Alright, how about your manta friends? What about this? If I, if I chop you with an axe, do I get prime stuff? Nope, sure don't. Just thought I'd check. Just thought I would check. Alright, manta... You're one of the manta friends. Okay. I am so... not worrying about trying to tame you. I just don't care. I don't care anymore. Just call me Phil Collins, because I don't care anymore. All right, come on. You're pretty close to being toast. Here we go. And I am once again hurting pretty badly here. It's all right. I mean, if I could just knock him out and tame him, maybe I would actually bother to try. I don't care. The last time I tried to tame these guys, they just jumped out of the water incessantly. Really made me upset. Really upset me. It was not very fun. It was incredibly frustrating, though. I can tell you that much. All right, so we got a bunch of dead fishy thingy majiggers over here. Let's get rid of them. All right, goodbye, fishy. Okay, now. Oh, hi. Welcome to the party. Oh, man, I am just hurting here. Nope, wrong button again. Man, my goodness. I apparently am going to do that all episode long. I might try this just for giggles here. Here, how do you feel about eating dead shark? Okay. Do you, do you not eat dead shark? If you don't, that's unexpected if so. Oh, all right. Well, if you want to go, let's go. We can go, buddy. We can go. I'm going to win, though. Told you. Man, apparently this is just Manta. I don't know. This is this is kind of uh, this is kind of terrible. I kind of hate this. I'm not really a big fan of the Mantas. You know, let's drop all this meat off. I don't really want to run around with it. I suppose. Just out of curiosity, in case one comes by, I'll put that guy down there. Not that I'm really planning on taming a manta. I just thought, oh, you know, just in case one decides to come over here. I can't see what level that shark is, and that shark is kind of where I would like to go. So let's magically jump onto the, the raft here. Rafty McRaft face, how are you, sir? And then theoretically we should be able... Oh, no, I do that in my own, don't I? Craftable, bino... I just need some hides and crystals. There we go. And then I'll make me a bino glass. I really do need one of these. I, I actually think that's one of the best weapon, best items in the game. Is, um... Ah, dang it. I hit that. I didn't even mean to. Spyglass is one of the best things in the game. No joke there. Alright, so you are level 130. Holy cow. Holy cow, that would actually be really super helpful, except I don't think I have enough tranquilizers to take that one out. I really don't. Wow. Um, well, you know what? For right now, let's just not worry about it, because I feel like this is just turning into, I don't know, madness. I could go find a, probably go find a dolphin somewhere else. I mean, at this point, who knows where they've gone. We could go back to this island where we originally tamed a pteranodon that has long since vanished, and we can see if there's anything over there. And uh, if not, oh well. We do need to make some other stuff, though, so we will take care of that momentarily as soon as we get over here. I just kind of want to go hang out at this particular island, uh, just because. No real reason, I just want to change, kind of change the, uh, the location, change the, the, the look of things right now. That's really all it is. I just want to change that around a little bit. gonna take a quick poke into the water just to see who's around. Doesn't really look like anyone is nearby, which I guess that's okay. Don't need to have anyone nearby. I was just curious more than anything. I see a manta over there. What are you down there? 
shark. Level 40 shark wouldn't be bad. Level 35 pteranodon. I guess we do have a couple of cooked primes, so we could do something with that, but not a whole lot, honestly. All right, well, let's just go back to the raft because we do actually have some stuff to do today. Believe it or not, more than just kill a bunch of mantas and run around like an idiot. How am I doing on my armor? Yep, just repaired it, and it already needs to be repaired again. I knew that would be the case. That's a manta for you. They just kind of wreck everything. It's a good time. It's actually a terrible time. I kind of hate them. How are you doing? You actually need more wood. There you go. Have some more wood. And then have some more wood there. And we're going to go up top to the smithy here. So what am I missing if I want to make... Let's go to structures and go fabricator. I need me some metal ingots. Well, it just so happens that I have a lot of them over here. Oh, you know what? Here, just take all of them. They don't weigh that much thanks to the stacking mod or... Thanks to something, anyway. Look at that. 524 ingots for 52 pounds. I will take that every day of the week and three times on Sunday. Let's craft a fabricator. Theoretically, we're going to have enough oil, gasoline, whatever, to power this thing and still be able to have enough left over to make what we need to make. Not really sure about that. Question is, can we plop this guy down somewhere? I don't really want it hanging out. That feels like that might not be hanging out. There we go. There's our fabricator. And let me grab some of this, guys. So we're going to grab some gasoline. I'm just going to grab five. We don't need a ton of it right now. Drop you in there. And then I need to grab some other stuff out of this guy, namely obsidian and uh, cementing paste. I think I have a... Don't I have a, a stockpile of cementing paste somewhere? Maybe in here? Oh, if that's all I have. Oh, there we go. There it is. Look at 502 of it. Oh, and you know what? Take the polymer. I found that somewhere a while back, I remember. It was on maybe a, a blue beacon. I don't remember. I've had it for a while. We're going to go ahead and take that. All right. Let's dump this stuff in. And we need to make some more... Uh, you know what? We need to spend some points on this stuff. And we need some polymer. And then we can go back to composites, polymer. And how many of these can we make? Let's turn it on. We can make 100. We don't really need 100. We're going to make 100, though, just because. We actually could use all of this stuff. I can turn around and use it on a shotgun or a pistol or something along those lines, so I'm totally on board with that. Now, we're going to need something else, too. We are going to need a generator. I've already learned that one. Okay, good. So if we look at Structure's Electrical Generator, then we need some electronics and some ingots. Well, I can go grab some ingots over here. We'll just grab half, and then I'm going to grab all of these silica pearls, because we are going to need those. And then, I guess we need to learn electronics now, so electronics, and that can be crafted at the fabricator, of course. So let's dump the pearls in there, and that. And then we'll need 10 of these guys. It's just pearls and ingots, right? Yeah. There we go, that would be 10 ingots. And then once, or uh, <laughs> 10 electronics, then once we have that, we can go ahead and craft that guy. So I'm going to let this stuff just kind of cook for a minute, and I'll be back with you. We need to collect a few more things, or at least a little more of one particular thing. i got to poke my head back into the water. Where are you guys? Uh, there's the level 5 guy. I actually fed a couple of these, make these some of the cooked prime fish meat. Uh, it really didn't seem to do much. I don't know, maybe they do better on actual uh, raw prime meat, just the straight-up regular raw, or standard prime meat. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's the level 90 guy. I gave him a little bit. I didn't give the level 145 guy anything. That guy I gave a little something, so I thought maybe with my taming setting so high, I might be able to actually tame him in short order. But look at that. You can see that barely even moved anything there. Yeah, it's all right. I'm not going to tame him. I don't, have, I don't have that kind of time today, and... Realistically, I need more, I need different stuff to do that. So it's okay. It's not a big deal. We don't need to worry about that for right now. I'll just hold on to that cooked fish meat. And I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe some sort of land predator would like that a lot. I'm not sure. I haven't really messed with it all that much since it's been added to the game. I tend to be more of a land player. I tend to stick with land or, or the air, I guess, too. I don't really mess around with fish much. 
So I'm not 100% sure how all that'll work. Right now, though, we do need to head back to the Skull Island. Skull Island. We're going to go grab some more materials while we're over here with any luck. That is, we're going to grab some more materials because, like I said, we still have some stuff to make. We are not done. Not by a long shot. Getting pretty close. We'll see if we're going to be able to, to do anything here, Cat. Thank you, move your paw. You can see she's just kind of chilling right there. She came back. She's been actually chilling over here for a while now, and she's been pretty quiet, so I guess that's a good thing. I haven't needed to be upset with her or anything, so yeah, I'm going to say that's a good thing. Where do I normally climb? Is it over here? I think it's over here. I'm going to say it's over here. This looks like a good spot is right about here. Look at that. That looks nice. Let's go ahead and get off the raft. Right. That'll work just fine. And then, theoretically, I should be able to find a way up over here. Maybe. Maybe I need to go around. I don't remember where I'm at. There's, uh, there is one particular area I, I'm able to climb up. Maybe it's that one. Yep, I think that was it, because I normally come in on this side. Ah, look at that. Perfect. Just what I needed. You are just what I needed. Just what I needed. There you go. There's two song references for you today. I don't know if you picked them up. I might be old. And thus, you might not have picked them up. That's okay. And this is also what I needed, so we're going to grab this guy right here. I'm going to pet my cat while I do that. And done. Look at that. Perfect. So I would actually like more than that, but that's going to be sufficient for now. Whoa, you guys were really flying. I'm going to need to tame something else at some point here, and I might try and return to... Well, there are a couple of different places I can go for, for trying to tame an RG or something along those lines, because I still think that would be a pretty good thing to tame. Although I am going to have oil problems, and I really do need to tame an Ichthy or a, a Shark, you know, a Mega, or a Manta, or I don't know, something... That was kind of obnoxious there. I clicked right when the game was saving, so it paused, and I couldn't actually do anything. That was that was awesome. Let's go ahead and go back over, uh, maybe over to this general spot-ish over here. I don't know. Wow, go Seeger. Sorry, I have the, the Dodgers game on while I'm doing this. Corey Seeger is just tearing it up in the last couple of days. That's four home runs in the last three days. Not bad. Pretty good young player right there. Not just because he hit four home runs in three days, but just because. Anyway, let's get back to this island over here. This seems to be a pretty peaceful one compared to some of the others. Or, you know, at least compared to the other side of the Skull Island there. Um, I totally went around. No, I need to go this way, don't I? Um, no, I, I am going the right way. Okay, good. We're going the right way. Oh, there you go. You got a little cat butt. I hope you enjoyed that. You probably shouldn't have enjoyed that. I'm just kind of saying it because I end up getting cat butt all the time, and it's about time someone else gets cat butt. All right, let's stop this this behemoth right here, and we're going to go ahead and climb upstairs. Climb upstairs. Let me back up. Back up. Ah, come on. Where's the climb option? Some days. There it goes. There it is. Some days. Some, some days. All right, so let's go over to this guy now. I haven't really paid much attention to this, but it's been here a while. I'm going to go ahead and hide the cat while we do this. This is the boat construction table. We're going to drop a whole bunch of metal on it because we need to make an inboard motor now. Probably going to need to make some planks too, so I guess I should drop some wood in here. Do I have any extra wood over here? Uh, not much. I'll go ahead and take all of it. Whatever, it's fine. I can repopulate it a little later on. I think I'm going to need some planks. So I'm going to do one set of planks, and then we're going to see what we need to make a fishing boat. So we're going to need some more planks. We will need some more cementing paste. We will need a, more polymer. So let's go ahead and... Man, I wish I wouldn't have turned this thing off now. I'm, I don't have much gasoline, as you can see. So I'm really kind of going through a lot of it here. Let's... Um, sure, let's do another 100. I'm going to go outside and grab some more wood, because I need more wood. Although I can grab all of the wood out of that. 
Probably not that much, but whatever. Um, yeah, and I'll just go grab some more. I was going to say I could grab the wood out of that guy, and then we could use that to make planks, but that's fine. We'll we'll go with this. It'll give me time to to let the whatever it is, the mm, something or other polymer finish. This should be a good couple hundred wood here. I need to grab some more. Need a lot of wood here because we need to make a lot of planks. Good thing that this stuff weighs very little with this particular... I think it's the stacking mod that is making it so you can carry a ton of this stuff. Which in some ways... Oops. Sorry, guys. Ow. I wasn't even looking at the dodo. Ah, I'm sorry. Well, here, let me pick up your crap. Because I can use that. Sorry about that. Well, here, I hate to let it go to waste, so I'll just butcher it right quick. What am I doing on wood? 1,135 wood. Let's just grab a little more. I can always use a little more. I do like being able to carry this much stuff. It is kind of handy. All right, let's go back to Rafty McRaft base. We're going to need to make a bunch more planks. As I said, we need eight for the boat. And then we're going to need gasoline to, to fuel it, I would assume. Maybe not, but we don't really have much. Uh, wrong one. Um, although we do need some metal, so... Sure, let me just take that. I'll take 127 ingots. That'll be fine. I'm going to drop all that wood in there. And then let's go back to this guy. We need planks. So we already have one in there. We need seven, right? Let me just double check that one. We need seven. So, oh, wow. 200. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and queue those guys up. And then we're going to need some metal ingots. We already have that in there. We're going to need some cementing paste. I need to make sure I don't blow through all my cementing paste. I'm just going to take half of that just to make sure I don't. And we'll go ahead and drop this in here. Nope. Try that. Ah. Oh, it did go in there. Good. And then let's go ahead and drop the dodo crap in there, because why not? And uh, that should be sufficient. I guess I can leave half of those and then take another half again. Something like that. That'll be fine. We'll drop those guys in there. That's really a shame that I just can't find and No, oh, dang it, wrong one. Man, I thought for sure I was done. Apparently not. Do I have what it takes to make a torch? I, I don't have any wood on me, never mind. Let me grab... All right, now can I make a torch? Torchy McTorch. Torch. There we go. Let's make a torch right quick. I could always use one of those. Put that down there and hold up the torch. There we go. Now I can see again. That's kind of nice. And I don't really have any extra... Oh, I do have some extra wood in there, don't I? Just thinking, I don't really have any extra metal, though. I'm, I'm actually using all of it for making planks and that sort of stuff. The the engine, so I don't really have much extra to go around right now. We'll take that. I'm going to take the gasoline out of that guy, just because um, that way I don't accidentally use it. You know, let's go ahead and put you in there. So we have 13 gasoline to spare, which is really not that much. I didn't mean to grab polymers from from this. Let's put you back in. Man, I really got to take care of my oil problem. I, I found a little bit. I started to talk about that in the last episode. And I don't think I ever really explained very well. I think I did a little bit, but yeah, like kind of straight off to the west and then north a little bit, somewhere around uh, 60 latitude and 40 longitude is about where I was, that sort of thing. So I found, dang it, wrong button again. Found a lot of oil there, but that was about it. What are you? Are you, you're a mega. I actually might be interested in you. What are you? You're the level 90 ichthy. Level 40 mega. Are you coming this way and you're not? I don't think I have enough. I don't think I have enough narcotics right now. Might be able to get that guy with a, an improved... Come on. I can't even get on my raft. Man. That's what it has come down to. Can't even get on my raft. And I can't even make any... Wow. That's kind of terrible. Uh, wrong one. This guy. Hmm. Well, I have a bunch of narcotics in there, so that's good. I mean, that is good. Let's go ahead and put these guys in there. 
Uh, at least put half of them in there. I need more narco berries, so I can't actually do anything with those just yet. So let me just see if I can make a couple of quick improved narcotics. Just because those are quite handy to have. There's three. Four. We might be able to, to knock that shark out at least and be working on that for the next episode so that I can finally get some stupid oil. But that might also mean not running into a boatload of mantas or I guess it's not a boatload. Running into a ton of mantas. There you go. All right, we're going to say that's good enough because I, I don't want to spend all day collecting stuff. Kind of like that, that silhouette right there of the Parasaur. That just looks cool. I was kind of looking at that as I spin it around like, eh, it looks pretty neat. Sometimes this game just looks cool. I mean, you know, it's a good looking game. I mean, that's obvious, but sometimes just things catch me and I'm like, wow, that actually looks really cool. All right, make, uh, hmm, I guess I should drop a few more in there. Two, and one, and one more. There we go. So there, make as many of those things as you can because those concentrated ones are bomb diggity. All right, climb up. There it is. I'm trying to be more patient and just walk around and deal with it. There we go. Folks, so what do we need? We need more wood. Holy cow, we need more wood. Um, I know that I have wood in there, but I'm just going to need wood anyway. So let's just, let's do one more wood gathering trip just for the heck of it. It won't take all that long, I promise. We can admire Skull Island as we look upon it. Lightning crackling and thunder roaring in the distance. And I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to try to kill you anyway. And we'll say that's good enough. That is plenty for now. Cat, what are you doing over there? She is... Uh, hmm. I might have mentioned she was being a bit difficult today. I think I did. Pretty sure I did. Seems like something I would have said. Let's drop that off in there, and then let's make us a fishing boat. Right on. That's going to take a little while, isn't it? And just like that, the cat moves quickly. All right, well, let's let that go, and then let's check down here for our concentrated narcotics. And then I'm going to need to make some more stone arrows, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we can do some improved trank arrows. And we'll just make as many of those as we can. I thought I had more than that on me. Oh no, you need standard trank arrows. That's right. I remember that. That's what you make them from. So let's go ahead and go to craftables. Trank arrows. Let's make a few more of those. We'll just make uh, whatever that is. And then we'll end up making as many of these as we can. I think seven is going to be the number because, again, I only picked up 18 of them. That'll be good. And then I really do need to work on some metabolic accelerators. Do I have any citronelle seeds? Because that's going to be key. If I don't have them, then I can't... I can't really work on that. Wow, I don't have any citronelle seeds. That's kind of a shame. Ah, uh, bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Well, let's go back upstairs. The boat might be finished by now. I'm trying to, you know, utilize everything and get actual... Wow. That thing weighs a crap load. Um, wow. Uh, let me let me drop some stuff because I think we need to go put this in the water and see what happens. I'm actually a little concerned about what might happen. <laughs> uh, we need to drop... A lot of stuff, actually. Here, let's drop the wood off. Here, let's go downstairs where we can drop some of these things off in appropriate locations. So let's drop meat and meat goes in there. And then you get the stones. So the stones go in there. Megalodon saddle, since we don't need that right now, you go in there. And that gets me down to 348. I would actually like to be a little lower than that, so guess I can eat those. This really isn't going to free up any space. It's just I get to eat yummy, yummy, yummy. Surprised at how much that thatch weighs, so we'll drop that off. And I think that's pretty much all we need to worry about dropping. Oh, there's a dodo egg. We can get rid of that. And then I guess we can throw the spoiled meat in there. Climb back up here, and we'll throw the 
the hides and the fiber up here because we can always use them over here. And then let's grab our fishing boat. All right, fishing boat, you are going to go on number eight. Look at that, I can jump while holding a fishing boat. I bet you can't do that. Come on, drop down. I can even carry a fishing boat down a hatch. Take that. Fishing boat. Oh, look at that. And just like that, we have a fishing boat. <laughs> ah, that is fantastic. And I guess we need to do one major thing. There we go. We got Bodie McFishing Boat Face. Um, before I get going too far on this thing, let's find out. Do I need to have anything like... Um, hmm. Access the boat's inventory. Preservation bonus to edibles. There is no slot limit. That is interesting. I wonder. So theoretically, is that where... Hmm. Is it in is it in here? Can I can I climb up this? Oh, nope, I cannot climb up that. That's kind of a shame. But man, that is pretty cool looking here. Let's let's turn Bodie McFishing boat face around. Oh, look at that. It even smoking away. Oh, those propellers. Look at that. Oh, this is awesome. This is cool. All right, this is cool. Let's go ahead and park you right here cuz I want to Oh, do you do you have reverse? Oh, I'm in love. It has reverse. Can I... I don't know what it's doing. I guess that's just camera controls is all that's doing. All right, well, let's beach this thing, so to speak, for a moment. While I jump out and we can take a look. Oh, yeah, we got ourselves a fishing boat. The Arctopian Bodie McBoat, McFishing Boat Face. Uh, that is a mouthful, isn't it? Wow, that's where we're going to leave it. I don't think we can build on it, which is kind of a shame. I mean, maybe I can grab some stuff really quickly here before we take off and we can find out. But I'm willing to suspect I can't build on it. I don't think that's the way that one works. The raft, I'm pretty sure you can... Raft. Uh, the barge. I'm pretty sure you can build on the barge. But this guy, I don't... Dang it, I don't think so. Yet again... Yet again. I'll build a wooden foundation as we're kind of signing off here, and we'll see if we can slap it on board. But like I said, I'm willing to bet that's a negatory. So anyway, that is where we are going to call this one an episode. So I will catch you on another one where the answer is, nope, you cannot place a wood floor on a fishing boat, just as I suspected. So thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs>